Hello. Hello. We are at Tivoli in Copenhagen, and I promised I'd make a video responding to messages on my other video. So this is what it is. <laughs> yeah. So what are we doing in Denmark? Um. Well, just seeing everything there is to see that we can get to, at least. That's right. We both <laughs> like Vikings. Yeah. So that's one reason. Uh, and Tivoli is beautiful. We rode, what did we ride? Um, the VR roller coaster, and uh, then the... The demon. The demon. And then the spinning swing thing, which was beautiful. You saw the whole city of Copenhagen. You can't recreate it. Okay, so first question is by... This is irrelevant, but... Uh, and he says, will you ever visit Norway? Uh, we hope to at the end of this vacation, uh, going to Oslo and then uh, Gothenburg. Yeah. So yeah, we hope to visit Norway very soon. Next one is from Menthol, Menthol Mind on Reddit. He says, is there any convincing evidence for the existence of Ragnar Lothbrok? No. There's not. I mean, I'm sure some people would say otherwise, um, but most people, at least it's common to think that his sons were real, you know. Uh, Sigurd Snake in the Eye, uh, Bjorn Ironside, and, and the others. Um, because they're, I think they're mentioned a lot more often, and yeah. they're actual... They, they're actual, like, texts and stuff. Well, the, yeah, there's text yeah. for um, Ragnar Lothbrok as well. Mostly it's in... It's written by Saxo Grammaticus. Mm -hmm. Then there's also the tale of Ragnar's sons and... Or the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok, but... Uh, no, most people would say that he's not real. And he says, If so, is Ragnar Lothbrok the most famous Viking like in the whole history of Vikings. What would you say? For not being real, yes. Because that's what most people think of when they think Vikings now. Okay. Because of the history of the show. show. Yeah. And I'm sure that that's a misconception. A lot of people do think he is real because of right. the history show. Right. Well, it, parts of him were, were probably real because, you know, yeah. people look at him as But a, he wasn't just one guy that was... Right. Yeah. As, as far as we know, no. And I, I don't think that's possible. Um, although there, there's like, there's a guy named Ragnar who sacked Paris, and that was in the tales of Ragnar Lothbrok. Yeah, but, but that there doesn't are mean... still a bunch of people named Ragnar <laughs> in Denmark. Right. As we speak. Um, so that's that's my educated guess. Also, I say the most famous Viking would probably be Leif Erikson. Yeah. It's... At least in the in America, in the States. I, I don't know. People don't really talk about him out outside of like history circles you don't unless think? it's like about the SpongeBob episode where it's Happy Leaf Erickson Day. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Leaf Erickson Day does exist, just no one yeah. celebrates it. Okay. Um, also on Reddit, ask me anything. I answer. Asked. Uh, did you ever stay home from work if you were not sick? This is not a history-related question, but I did say, ask me anything. What about you? Um, uh, we technically aren't working, working. We are oh, just, we had jobs, though. Not Right yeah, now, we're not working. We have little jobs, but we're, we're, like, if we have plans or something, even, we're allowed to just say ahead we have plans, and it's not what too about, serious. What about not for this trip, though? Regular job. Do you ever... I've never done that. Without being sick? No. I feel like I have a few times, but not recently. Well, I did, but that was when I was about to quit, so... <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right now, um, we're staying in Denmark. It's sort of a homestay thing. And yeah, so it's not anything too serious. Right, we just do a few favors and we get to stay in the house. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, also from Reddit is, who's your favorite Viking? This is really hard. Do you have a favorite one? Well, per the map channel videos, oh, okay. I have to say my favorite one is Harold Bluetooth. Really? Why? Um, I just like the fact that he united all of Denmark and he yeah. conquered like the whole country and kind of stopped them being like little villages that were owned by chieftains and right. having turning them into a kingdom. Right. Well, that's what like Harold Fairhair did with um, and I also, Norway. 
supposedly, but yeah. not not really. And I also like that his bloodline is still in power today. Right, yeah. with the, the current queen of Denmark. Yeah. Yeah, and this is very um, Denmark-centered. Yeah. Um, all our answers, that's just because we've been soaking in the history here. Mm-hmm. i say my favorite Viking... Maybe Leif Erikson. Leif Erikson was my first favorite Viking. I don't know who it would be now, though. Oh, oh, I also like uh, Hrafnaf Loki, who yeah, discovered yeah, yeah. Iceland. He's pretty cool, too. Do you like the show version? Mm, I used to, but now I like the real version it. better. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he was only one of the, the people who discovered Iceland. Yeah. But yeah. Um, why Denmark? Relationship or adventure? Asks Twisted Cognition on Reddit. Adventure? Yeah, I'm not here to meet any, anyone. My girlfriend doesn't live in Denmark. We came together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then on YouTube, Taryn Cake asked which place was the heart of Viking culture. <laughs> which I, I had trouble when I first saw this one because I, I don't think there's a real answer because I think the heart of Viking culture is within small villages because there was no real big urban centers. Yeah. Uh, the closest thing to that would be some trading towns. Um, like one would be Berka in Sweden. Yeah. And one would be, I think it's Hedeby yeah. in Denmark. Um, and then you had like the political powers in like York and England and, and uh, Denmark had Yuling for a while. But, um, but the true heart of Viking culture would just be the small towns on the coast. Yeah, I, but if he was asking about modern day, like, who okay. accepts their identity as Vikings, like, between here and Iceland, I feel like there is a um, generalization that, like, Iceland is the heart of Viking culture because it's more isolated, but I wouldn't say that's true, at least from what I've seen of the city, because right. they were more uh, modern and hipster-oriented, where... I see a lot more people who appear like they are trying to dress like Vikings and have the same appearance as Vikings here in Denmark. In Denmark. I think yeah. I think Denmark might be more conservative. I, I'm not and sure. I, and I think they have more of a pride in their ancestry as Vikings because yeah. that was when they well, last had power. And, and the Faroese definitely do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I hope you liked our answers. <laughs> this was really awkward. Um, just holding the camera out in front of my face in public. I've never done it before. But, thank you for watching. <laughs>